Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the new synopsis, the new teasers for The Flash Season 7 and everything that we know going into the opening of the season. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So The CW and The Flash have just released the official synopsis for the season premiere, Season 7. Episode 1, obviously this comes after the release of the Season 7 trailer just last week or so, which was then followed by the announcement that The Flash is coming back for Season 8, and then also the last thing before the synopsis was The Flash Season 7 poster got revealed. So we're on a streak of new releases in terms of promotional material, and we should be expecting a new promo very very soon, considering that Superman and Lois is airing next week. So currently it's the 16th and Superman and Lois is airing exactly in a week's time on the 23rd. So don't go anywhere, subscribe and turn on notifications to my channel because we're going to be covering Superman and Lois as we lead up to it next week. And also obviously I'm going to review it and break it down when the episode comes out. But also after that and I'll do it week by week, we're definitely going to be covering Superman and Lois because after all it is a Supergirl spin-off. But anyway, so yes, we should be expecting a new Flash promo sometime very soon. That means a promo which is basically a short trailer that's going to be much shorter and it's going to be quite snappy, might include some new footage. And that could be coming anytime this week and I'm sure it's going to come ASAP because they don't want to wait too long. I think 100% we're going to see it next week by the time of Superman and Lois' premiere. Maybe they drop it at that time, they're like, yes. In a week's time, The Flash comes back, because The Flash is coming back officially in two weeks. I can't wait. I'm so excited to have The Flash finally back. I'm sure you guys are really hyped. But without further ado, let's go ahead and break down the season premiere synopsis for episode one. Okay, so this is how it goes. Season premiere, when an experiment to save Barry's speed backfires. Nash Wells searches for a way to save The Flash and comes up with a dangerous plan. Meanwhile, Iris makes a startling realization inside the Mirrorverse, and Cecile faces off with Rosa Dillon, aka The Top. Okay, so as you guys know, this episode was intended for last season, however, there is probably some new changes that they made to make it more like a season premiere, and even though they did shoot like 90% of the episode before everything shut down, they've had to change some stuff in the episode and they had to go back and film some extra stuff. So there is going to be some changes, but mainly it's going to be to do with Nash. And what he's going to be doing is very exciting because it's all about Barry's new speed force. So they're going to try and create the artificial speed force and they're going to experiment with Barry's speed. And so the start of the synopsis says, when an experiment to save Barry's speed backfires, Nash Wells searches for a way to save the Flash and comes up with a dangerous plan. Well, what is that dangerous plan, you may ask? We'll get to that in just a moment, but the experiment to save Barry's speed is obviously an upgraded version of the artificial speed force. It's probably what's going on right there because we know that it didn't work last time. We saw that at the end of the season. And so Barry is a 1% speed. We know that from the trailer. And so with this experiment backfiring, that means something is going wrong with his speed force. And basically them trying to boost his powers is not working. And so the way that they word it and they use the word backfires seems like he's going to like hurt himself or something and maybe, you know, he's juiced up on speed force and then it just completely goes and he falls and basically breaks all his bones. I don't know, obviously I'm overthinking it, but something like that is going to happen. And so Nash is searching for a way to help save the Flash. And so this wording is weird because with him searching for a way to save the Flash, why would Barry need saving? He needs his speed back, he doesn't need saving. So what happens if he's put in a terrible situation with the experiment go wrong and his speed backfiring, causing him to potentially be on the brink of death? What happens if the Flash dies and Nash is basically trying to save him this whole episode and so with them specifically saying save, that is definitely a red flag to say that Barry's in trouble. And this dangerous plan, what could it be? Could it be to do with reigniting the artificial speed force or bringing back the old speed force? Or is it simply saving his life? So we know that there is a lot going on with trying to get Barry's speed back in this episode. 
And so is the dangerous plan somehow to link in the reverse flash? Because we know in the finale last season, they intended to bring back the reverse flash and somehow include him. Was the reason why he was going to be in that episode was to help create the artificial speed force because he is the only person who has successfully created one before. So what happens if Nash's plan, his dangerous plan as they word it, is to somehow summon Reverse Flash and bring him back and get him to help out? Because that's what you can infer from the end of the trailer that they release because it doesn't look like Nash and the way that he's talking is definitely more in line with Thorn. And also, I don't think Nash has ever said run by run and the way that he said it, it totally sounded like Thorn. So I'm guessing Nash's experiment backfires Barry's in trouble, he basically needs to go to someone, and that dangerous plan ends up being Reverse Flash. So what do you guys think about that? I know it's a bit crazy, but that could potentially happen. And so the synopsis goes on to say, Meanwhile, Iris makes a startling realization inside the Mirrorverse. And so I'm not sure what this specific startling realization is. In the trailer, we see a scene where Barry is there sitting with Iris, and then she realizes, oh crap, I'm seeing things. Maybe that is part of her realization that she is basically starting to go a bit crazy inside the Mirrorverse, or could it be whatever her mission is? Obviously, she sort of disappeared into nowhere at the end of last season, that her attempt to actually get out of the Mirrorverse will lead her to reuniting with Sing inside the Mirrorverse and everyone else who is stuck in there. But I'm saying it's more likely that she is going to realize that she's going crazy inside there. And so the other part of the episode is Cecile faces off against the top. She's going to be the villain of the week. Obviously, you're probably going to have Eva in this episode. And I think this storyline is pretty much going to be just Cecile and her. That is mainly because they have similar powers. So I guess they wanted like a villain of the week to face off against Cecile. Maybe Barry helps at one point. But yeah, that is about it for the synopsis. Let's go on to talk about what else has been confirmed for the opening of the season, because that is the whole point of this video. So we got the premiere synopsis. We know all of that stuff that we just broke down is going to happen. There is a lot teased there. But what do we officially know as well? So we know the big bad this season is going to be a male villain. And we know his story is going to be related to Barry and Iris in some way because how they defeat Eva, according to the whole overall season synopsis or season 7, it relates somehow to their marriage and how they defeat Eva. That's been said already, that's been confirmed. And so another point is the real Godspeed will appear, we know he's coming back and he's going to be one of the big bads this season. Eric Wallace, the showrunner, confirmed that at DC Fandom, he is going to be around, we're finally going to get the mystery of Godspeed, find out who he actually is and if it actually is a different version of Godspeed and is it someone we know or is it a completely different character. We also know that Iris is going to escape from the Mirrorverse at some point and we know that Barry has found a portal into the Mirrorverse, he says that in the Season 7 trailer, so at some point they're going to reunite. Don't know if it's going to be in the Mirrorverse or if Iris is going to get out first. I'm going to say it's likely that they meet inside the Mirrorverse, but at the same time, I feel like Iris is probably going to nearly get out by herself. And so she's going to be stuck there and she's going to be affected by it, as we saw at the end of last season. So all of this is confirmed to happen. So we know Ralph will appear in the first episode and it's only going to be a tiny scene. He's going to be recast. It's not going to be Hartley Sawyer. And so that storyline is going to be wrapped up and it's going to allow Sue to come back and continue but not be defined by Ralph. And so, yeah, basically Sue is confirmed to appear in multiple episodes this season after Ralph is gone, and so she's going to help out Team Flash in an unexpected way, Eric Wallace said. So that's very exciting to see her stick around, even with Ralph not around. And so we know that originally the plan was to have a main character who will have a season-long arc with the season's big bad, and I'm presuming the season's big bad is Godspeed, so maybe whoever is under that mask has some sort of relationship to one of the main characters on the show. So that's an interesting development, and I don't know if that's going to continue or that's going to go exactly as planned, but it's interesting to see and I'm looking forward to it. And so we know that Jay Garrick and Joan Williams will return at some point. John Wesley Shipp confirmed that a while back. And we also know that John Diggle is going to show up at some point, which is going to be his first time returning since that Flash episode after Arrow ended a while back. 
and also that David Ramsey is going to be directing an episode of The Flash this season. One thing we don't know is, are we going to get a final crossover with Supergirl? We're not 100% on that, but that is still a possibility if things work out over the next few months in terms of vaccines, and then can people mix, can crews mix, and if they can mix, then The Flash is going to cross over with Supergirl before the end of Supergirl's whole entire series run. And so the final thing that has been confirmed for the season is the character of Chill Blaine is going to be showing up, who is described as a charismatic bad boy obsessed with cryogenic technology. And so he's armed with his own cold weapons and he'll become a thorn on the side of Team Flash for a few episodes in this season. So he's going to be recurring every now and again. So lots of stuff to be excited about. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. And if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications to not miss any videos. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.